In this video, I'm playing Backgammon versus the Bot again with my good friend John Georgiou. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, what you like to see in future videos, so I can work on that. My book, Backgammon Backgame Strategies, is available. There's a link in the description to where you can get it. And if you're interested in lessons, please contact me via email. Again, in this video, it's my pleasure to have my good friend John Georgiou. Welcome, and thank you for joining me again. Hi, uh, hi, Alex. How are you? Very good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I'm I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking it's, forward to uh, getting revenge on the bot. <laughs> it's always fun playing with you. And the last time we played with um, we played with Colin. Oh, actually, I, I think you weren't there. Um, Colin um, is originally from Bulgaria, so I had another top Bulgarian player, Petko play with him and that was a lot of fun and then he came up with this challenge of playing uh the two of you colin and you against me and petco so that will be fun ah the, yeah that'll, that'll be fun um so the other video with Ka colin and petco you haven't released that one yet i think it will be released by the time this one goes live um and that, that should be soon i think i think uh next week Ah, okay. All right. I'll make sure I watch it, hopefully, before we play. But yeah, that's going to be fun. So me and Colin against you two. Yeah, happy yes, days. Yes, that will be fun. Okay. So let me go ahead and share the screen here. Okay. There we go. Are you able to see this oh, now? Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very, nice, colorful very board. Contrast. This is uh, you're right, a Jeffrey Parker one. The skin is made by Rain. So we'll play. This will be a five point match. We'll play the black checkers at the bottom and XG the white checkers at the top. I like the the different colors and the contrast with the points and the checkers. So that's good. So we'll start with the six one. Make the bar point. Yes, please. Okay. Five. That was a very nice six one and three one are my favorite starts. Right. Okay. Five four. Um, how about 13, 8, and for the 4, I guess we just play 24, 20. Yeah, I think that's certainly good. There's, there's also the option of this, but I think that's a little too much. If it was probably to make a better home board point, right. it might be worth being that open afterwards but yeah for the three point it's probably not worth it i agree okay so now double five Ooh, right not bad. or one that's a good roll we can anchor yeah why not all right double four so now we're behind in the race six five so yeah so we can hit from the 20 point or we can maintain our anchor and play 13, 7, 8, 3. Yeah, that's the tempo play. There's also uh, just a safe play without leaving any blots because you know, despite the fact that we have an anchor, uh, White has a three to one board advantage. So, uh, hitting here, I guess this leaves what 13, 14 numbers to hit back, but it does disconnect it. I think this could, would this would be too many shots. This is too many return shots. Yeah, because there's all the sixes which hit from the three point. Right, right, and that's why. That's why I'm not that tempted with this play because mm, I, I, we're behind in the race. So 13 7 and 6 1 just don't seem. Uh, yeah. It's a tough one, this one. I know, this will be a good one to analyze. Uh, we do ma maintain spares on all the points this way, whereas this way uh, kind of strips this point. But it does put one in the air. Does it create, like, bad rolls, like, uh, I don't know, 6-2 and 6-1, or 6-4, or 6-5? Those are relatively bad rolls. 
if you were playing by yourself, um, which play would do you think you'd settle on? This would, this one would be the one I think I would go for myself. But you, I think they're reasonable given given that those things I thought about it. It's like so. Let's say we don't hit, right? So now the sixes are pretty good to anchor. Whereas when you do hit, they're not so good. So I think this is reasonable. We'll, we'll see in the analysis, but I think this is fine. Okay. All right. All right. Five, one, see, those are some awkward numbers. Now we can try to do something. Six, two is not great. Not great at all. Hmm. Wow. I know. So we're not gonna let's let's look at one thing at a time. We're not gonna want to come off the anchor, right? No. So that's kind of out of the question. We don't want to like play the six here because then we'll leave a double shot here or a double shot here. So we're probably not going to move anything on this side. So if we're going to move something on this side, we can, I mean, if we hit, we're going to be like this, and then a six is going to be terrible. So I don't think we can afford to hit. So the options would be to either clear the eight point like that. It does stack this or play this way and make slot the four point or make the ace point. But I don't really like that one. What are your thoughts? You see the 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 play you just uh, tried now, which was seven one and six four. It means that a white can play with more flexibility, knowing that even if they leave a shot, we're unlikely to take it. So. Mm -hmm. That's that should be my concern. But even if we try to play less open, eight six and eight two, it it's still very ugly. Right. So we're not really solving the problem. We're just reducing our open checkers from three to two. But um yeah, look, I, I think seven one and six four is just probably our least uh, horrible play here. Yes, yeah, so I think sometimes it's just like you pick the best of many bad alternatives or many bad options. Yeah, um, yes. Okay, and we're still within seven seven pips of in terms of the race. Okay, so left the blot. So now we're down 14 pips. Don't think we can afford to hit right now, right? Absolutely not. Make the five point. Yeah. Okay. All right. Six three. Um what should XG want here? Well, I XG guess given we're down by twenty two, we're not gonna move from the back, we're gonna play up here, right? We're gonna play in the front. XG would probably like seven one and six three, in my opinion. Because, because we we close our we close the open points to a large degree, which gives us some threat. Because you know it's like the Cold War. It's like everyone <laughs> needs to everyone needs to have an equal threat to avoid being bullied. So. You know, I think we need to tidy up. What do you think? What's well, the other option would be to play a little more pure like this, although it leaves three blots. Now, are we going to get a shot next? What are what are the rules uh, for white? That I just kind of go from the top down. Like six five is okay. Six four, six three, six two, six one. All the sixes are okay. Five four is okay. Five three, five two, five one. Pretty much, I, I don't think there's a number that's going to leave a shot for white next, right? No, not next, but in the near future. So if we if we do something like this, 
will have at least another role to make a pure structure before getting a shot. Um, I think this is fine too. It's just a little worse in the race because we have deep checkers. But this one's up to you, no big deal. That's, I do like playing pure and having my points made consecutively. So okay. I'm, I'm, it's easy to sell this play to me. Okay. Five, three. Okay, so left the shot here. So now with the 5-2. Yeah, now we, we've got to hit. And then we can cover and leave just a single. Yeah. Or what would be plan B if we don't hit, like... I think we've got a hit, right? We we yeah, we've got a hit. Okay. All right. And and once you decide you have to hit, then playing your two becomes obvious because you get to cover two liabilities at right. once. And then we'll see if we'll we have a double if we're missed. So now it's five away, five away. We're ahead by one pip. We have a blot here, but a four-point board, and we have sixes and fours to cover. So, and, and we don't need like sixes elsewhere because right. even fives are good from our twenty point. So right, we've right. got we've got some diversity. Um, yeah, I think that this would be a reasonable cue. If you were white, would you take? Um, no, I wouldn't. Okay, so that's that's a good that's the you know. Are you familiar with Woolsey's law? It says if you're not sure if it's a take or a pass, then you should double for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll double. Okay. Pass. Good. Okay, so now we're ahead one zero four away five away. Now, uh, we can double more aggressively as the leader here. So how do you like the double threes here? Because our opponents made a very positive start, um, I would deviate from my normal play, which would be to make the bar point. Um, like this? this would be yeah, your normal that, play? That would be my normal play because I like to create priming structures, and that's a good start. But because the opponents brought all these checkers here into attack, um, I want to step up to the 21 point. Mm -hmm. And then it's lovely to de-stack points, for example, 13-10 or 6-3. It, it's nice to de-stack, but I'm very tempted to just make the five point. Yeah. So in terms of, I did a whole video on second rolls, and basically the default play with the double three um, is two up and two down. Uh, the reason is because it makes a good anchor and it unstacks bringing 10 in the zone, despite the fact that you're not making these points, um, you have a good structure. Against this, when, when someone slots like this, um, you can actually afford to do exactly what you said. This is called the X, two up and then two, two cross. Yeah. So good. I agree. Okay. Great. Four, two. So, so now look at what's happened. Both sides have their five point, but we have a better anchor. So we're, we're favored here, right? Yes. Okay. Double four. And, and we're slightly ahead in the race. Correct. Now it's more. So here, I think we play 13-5 with one. 13-5. Okay. And then 13-9 with two. What about the other option? Like this? Yeah. It, it's too much. It, it's too much of a deep point for my liking. And it's taking away spares. So, one, two, three, four. 
right? So let's just look at this for a moment. The one play is one, two, three, and then the fourth one here, which results in this position. The other one would be one, two here and one, two here. So what they have in common is the first two here. So this is going to be the same for both plays. So I guess the next thing would be, would you rather basically strip the midpoint and have an extra spare here with three over here, um, or keep that there and then unstack that into here and make an additional point? Because this outside structure will remain the same, right? Cool. I think, I think, you know, when you start in the opening position, you have five checkers on the six point. So you have these three extra spare checkers that you want to use to make these inner board points. Now that we've made the five point with other checkers, these have fewer spaces to go to. So unstacking them becomes a little bit more urgent. And when you bring another spare into here, now it's going to be hard to fit all these four checkers here. That's why I think I think this one might be better, but we'll go with whatever you like since you're the guest. Yeah. Double two one, one is hard. Two one. If we've got the spare on the five, uh, if you play my play, but don't confirm it, let's look at it. So four two is still nice. Two one is nice. Three two is nice. Five two is nice. Six three is nice. There's there's a lot of roles that we can use the spares on the six to build with. Mm -hmm. There are some different numbers. There's a lot because of having um, checkers on the eight and nine point. We've got a lot of versatility. Okay. So what about the other one? We've got we've got the same except for two one. Yeah, there's still the four two and five two and five four and six five and six one and six two will make these points. Mm. But two one would just make the bar point. Two now, one would be good anyway, right? Yeah. All yeah, right, yeah. let's let, let's go with this one because I know X, XG won't like mine. I know. <laughs> It won't because we haven't destacked, so XG will yeah. not be happening. Yeah. Okay. Six one, so we can oh, make. Yes, one. please. Yes, okay. please. All right. So double three now. See, did the same kind of thing. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we can think of cube action. So we're behind by one pip in the race. We've got two checkers back and a broken four prime. XG only has one checker back. We are on roll. So what's a market loser? Double five? Double five would kind of, it would make this, but we still have these two stuck back here. Maybe double six or double three. I mean, I think the big thing is we need to worry about these back checkers, right? Mm. Okay, let's exercise caution. Let's roll. Okay. Six, three. We can make the three points. That looks it good. Does, it does kind of make it a bit harder for the that checker to escape. It does. Okay. Okay. What what else? I mean, this would be like too much, right? No, I don't I don't think that's the right idea yeah. here. Okay. Five four, okay. Okay. That's still four. not okay. No, we're still in the same position. Okay, six one. My preference now would be thirteen six. I agree. Okay. So Six two. Okay, so now we're gonna need something good. Six two. Not bad. Yeah, we've got a lot of options. For example, twenty one to thirteen. 
because that will that will put um, the opponent under pressure to try to attack us, really. Right. And threes, for example, which he might roll to hit us, he needs to try to escape. Right, like a 3-5 is duplicated. But it does give Joker threes, though. Yeah. So what would also be like this? Yeah, yeah. I think then we're still stuck here. Like, let's say we do this, and white does doesn't roll something good. We probably we might be able to double. And if we play the other way, we might not have a double then. Right, because we'd have two stuck behind a five prime. Basically, what I see is. After the next exchange, white will still likely have this five prime. So yeah. my reasoning is, would I rather have two behind a five prime or one behind a five prime? <sighs> one play we haven't chatted about is nine to one. What's what's the bad or me or good about that? Well, if white comes in with a one, it's really bad. If white comes in with a four, it's still pretty bad. I think the one is less bad because that helps our timing. Uh, in a sense, it does. It gives us an extra checker back. But with with this five prime five prime blockade. There's not a lot of mobility. We're going to have to get like a four followed by a six or else break the anchor or do something here. It's When there's a five prime, it's challenging. Yeah, I know. You're right. Uh, you're right. I've just had a vision of things going pitong. I know. It's, it's good to have visions. <laughs> <laughs> 21, 21, 13. It was my initial thought. Okay. Let's go with that and we'll see. I tried to argue alternatives, but yeah. Yeah, it's... we'll see what it says in the analysis. Okay, so now 5 1. Okay. Double 2. All right, so now it's a double. So this is kind of a prime versus prime game. Yeah, we can take this. You'd like to take it? Okay, so if White, if white makes this point with a 5 3, 5 4, uh, four, three, double four, double three, double two. So that's nine numbers that do that. If not, we still have a decent chance. Okay. So we'll take. Yeah. All right. Three, two, still. No, six, two. Okay. Now we need something good. Okay. We're behind 22. So I think we probably have to come in behind, right, on the 24? Yeah. And then the four just in? Okay. Yeah. All right, now. Uh, and of course we miss. It's okay. We might try to save the gammon like this. Two and maybe two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I think if we do this, White's going to hit loose, try to get another checker, right? The other option would be to do this, and it'll be harder for White to get another checker. But if we're missed, this is better. You know, we can make this point. I think this is fine. You want to try this one? No, not really. You want to do the other one? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do anything. You can do this. Um, that that's the way I'm thinking. Be, because of the gammon. Right, right. Um, you get the two crossovers. Yeah, because we we don't want to go four nil down. So I think this way is just the safest to yeah. you know 
to reduce government losses? Right. It, it would be 4-1, but I understand what you're saying. Now, can we play this one, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, so now... Okay, here's our shot. Oh. All right, we can probably save a gammon from here. Six, five. I think we get our spots on the six. Let's see. All okay. right. So now it's a four away, three away. With an opening six four, how do you like to play at this score? 24-14. Aha. Uh -huh. I think well, we'll play this, but I think this one's better at this score. I think making the two point is better. If you're ahead, you usually want to play like this. But they'll be close. Okay, six three. Um fourteen to eight and thirteen. No, let's go twenty four twenty one. So that we right. up by cross twelve, yeah. Daylights. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not quite a double yet, right? No, no. Let's see if we can Ah, oh, that's nice. So two there. <laughs> to the okay okay yeah now we may have a double yeah i'll double because we're trailing the match score yeah. and gammons are good for us okay so now four three um eight four thirteen ten okay that does diversify some builders the other, I think that's fine. The other thing I was looking at is something like this. But I think this one's okay, too. Yeah. Gives us more like diversity. This? Okay. 5-3. Okay. Looking to attack. 4-3. Maybe just make the bar point, yes? Yeah. 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 All right. So now we're hit looking for a 4. Okay. Not bad. 1. And then 2. Yeah, definitely. Um, Do you want to bring two more in range so we can have sixes and fives for this point? No, because then that's fives and five six. How but about if we just here. make? How about if we just make the eleven, and then we can go eight to seven because we want to use threes at the top not at the bottom okay we'll take a look in the analysis oh, uh oh double two that was a good roll five two we could make the two point now uh-huh yeah okay all right so the two is here, and the four. The four is horrible. Uh, the four. I think if we play nasty. here, it kind of triplicates the sixes that are needed to escape to hit and to hit here. However, it creates another blot. The alternative would be to do this. No, because that's a double shot. Um, the alternative in my mind is to play six to Good. two. Could do that. That's quite passive and it kind of destroys things, but it doesn't leave a direct shot. I, I don't think I don't think we can give a direct shot. Okay, so we'll try this one. Oh, we're hit indirect. Six, five. So the five, and now with the six, we have to be aggressive like this? Oh, 100%. Okay. Double six. All right, here's our chance. Double three. So one. Yeah. Um, I, I'd be tempted to switch here, six to three. I agree. And, and then 23, 20. Yeah, this is going to win some gammons here. Uh, 
Um, um, right. We're not going to hit, of course. Right. So I don't think we want to slot it quite yet. Maybe just run. No, right, but look, there's a lot of shots here. We could do like this. That's that's slightly better. But we're not duplicating anything. What's the alternative? I don't know. I'm looking. What I was looking at is, 11, we, go ahead, go ahead, please. 11.3. Like that? Yeah, it, it, it limits the, the, the return shots. If we open on the 20, we give our opponent opportunity to come in and then play aggressive against us. Well, White needs to be careful of not losing a gamut here, and we have a stronger board, a four-point board versus a three-point board. So let's say we do something like this. This gives us four builders for the six-point next, should we have that opportunity. If we play, like even if we play this, there's only two builders for the six-point, and if we do this, it's two builders, and then these two are kind of out of play. Look, look at the two-one that does this and also does this next. Duplicating our own numbers. This will be a good one to analyze, but I think, in the interest of time, we'll need to move a little bit more quickly. Um, they should open. All right, twenty twelve. All right. Very good. All right, four one. Okay, so now we have this point that we'd like to keep probably. Double three. Okay. Eleven eights one. Twelve nine is two. I would say we just go nine to three. Okay. Three oh, one, I think the clear. Why can we not jump a three prime? We're still doing okay in the prime versus prime battle. See? Now? No, wrong five. Uh oh. Yeah, this is this is how the bot wins. Five. And I think we have to hit with the six, right? Do we? You wanna just let them escape? This leaves a, yeah. We are up in, in the race. We are. What does this do? Uh, what does this do? This will probably win us more gammas if it works. Like it'll hit with ones and six two, right? Whereas this hits with threes and two one and double one. I guess there are more more shots here. More more numbers that hit here than the other way. Okay. Although we do have two blocks the other way. All right, let's hit then. Hit. Uh oh, it's all my fault, John. Uh oh. Well, we still now, now, now it's a problem. We can't take this, right? No. No. Okay. All right. So now it's four away, one away, Crawford game. Gammons are valuable, so we can. You want to hit? Sure. Okay. Um, twenty-four point and eight four. Yeah. Okay, that worked out. Cover the four. Yeah. Mm. 
No, double hit. Double hit like this with all these checkers back? Okay. Yeah. Um, 13, 8, 24, 23. Okay. 2-1. Any two points looks okay. Yeah. The other thing I was looking at, but I'm not sure if it's something like this, although it does really overextend things with both ace points. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Double five. Okay, so we can make the three point. We can make the one point this time. And then we've got a choice. We'll be up by 10 in the race afterwards. What about just like a safer play? Um, I think, I think it's false economy because we're up in the race. If we've got three checkers back, it's not. So you're like we're not, this we're not in. We're not in a racing position. Right, right. So was this the play you liked, like this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we'll try it. Let's see. So. Uh, thirteen ten and three two. Okay, it does duplicate the three one four one and six one that make these points. And, and and we want to make a strong home board, so the one is forced. And right. What what uh, what option do we have with the three? None then. Right. The only other thing would be something like this, but that's kind of giving him a lot with this blot here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Four, three, okay. Two, one. Yeah, um, not 10, 9, 13, 11. Okay. Five, one. Um, 11, five, yeah. Okay. okay, so now I think we'll have to step up, right? Yeah. And the five in? Do we have to step up because it's, it, we're not going to see daylight there for a while. And by then we'll have crunched. So I'm thinking if we stay on the 24, hopefully we get hit. And that might save our home board a bit. So how are we going to play the – we've got to play five somewhere here, right? Mm hmm I think that's a good, that's a valid point if we had a closed board or if we could make a closed board, but. So what's going to happen? So He's going to be down by two and he's going to break the prime shortly and then we may have daylight to get good sixes. That's, that's, that's what I was thinking. Or we could do something like this. Or even keep it slotted. I think we we up the creek anything we do. Yeah. Um, I I think White's got enough timing to let us crunch a bit before they open up any point. Because there's the two checkers on the on the six and eight and the one on the thirteen. So right. that's that's at least two rolls. Uh this is a let so, we can't win without a home board. So let's try and keep our home board. Let's play uh nine to two. Okay. Now let's say you're um white here and you roll like a five, six, five, five, one, five. You're gonna hit loose? 
Probably because you you got nothing to lose. And then what happens if you get if you're hit loose and you get hit back? You come all the way around and you have a chance to get another checker. That's that's the reason why I was thinking this is this is probably more of a liability than an asset for for us for now. But right. if, if you like nine to two, we can do that, and we'll see what it says in the analysis. Well, choose go with Isaac. I, I'm I'm easy. I understand what you're saying, and yeah. we we just well, like trying it. to weigh up two different arguments. It's hard to know which ones. It is. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll, we'll go with your play since you're the guest. We always do that. Okay. Um, five, five, one, two, one. The other option would be like this. This kills the five, so now we it slows us down some more. Now, if we roll like a six five next, we don't move. But if you roll a six five next here, it's really bad. Which do you prefer? Um, six, five, six, two. Okay, we'll see. We'll see what it says in the analysis. Okay, so now we may have some chances, but we may not. This is going to be tough. If we keep the anchor, we'll, we, we won't, we'll have to kill this checker. I think we could just do this. Not worried um, about the gammon loss. No, but the, the other way, Blocks double threes. Does. Which could open up more avenues. But yeah, this does kill checkers. And then we have to go. Next anyway. And this gives us better chances should we roll large doubles in a race. Okay. Okay. Six two, just get them in. Yeah, that looks the best. Yeah. And then maybe kill that to keep a seven. Five. Mm. We'll have to stay, right? Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's curtains. Okay, let me save it. We'll analyze it. So let's take a look. The 6-1 was clear. Then the 5-4, we just wanted to split in response. And the 4-1 was clear to make, make the anchor. And this one, this is the one we were talking about. It looks like the plays were close. Yeah. Yeah. When it's that close, I don't make a big deal. But but the hitting play was a, certainly a, it was an error. We identified yeah, that. 29, yeah. Because 8 3 is still a hitting play. What we yeah. do. Right, right. So let's see this one. It did like making the board here. I guess at least this, this makes a. Uh, this is the play it preferred. It does make a deep point, but at least it creates a two point board. And it Where doesn't it leave a whole bunch of blots. Right. So if there's a possible hitting exchange, we're better off here. That yeah. makes sense. And XG actually left a shot the next roll, and we couldn't take it. Yeah. 
with the two one here. Yeah. Um, okay. Then the six three. It looks like these two plays were close. They were all close. Yeah, I didn't like the seven one six three play. No. But it's it's twenty four small. Twenty four small. Okay. And then the five two, there was a oh we had to oh, hit. Go go to XG's five three. Why is I it in green? Let's see what it did. Should have played safe. Despite the blots. Why didn't XG play its top move? So this is the plus plus analysis on the three on the default setting. Sometimes it doesn't look that far in advance, so it plays that. Okay. Um, and then we rolled the uh, white rolled the double four, and then it was a double and a pass. Good, great. Okay. So then we had the double three. This is this is what we were talking about here. And this the same thing for money. This is correct too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we had the double four. Let's see. Yeah. The the one we 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 ended up choosing is is right by a lot. Yeah, I I knew I knew it would be. Yeah, I guess. Here. Oh no, we we were looking at this one, this one. Okay. Thirteen nine two thirteen five. That's the one. Right, right. Yeah. This one, you're not unstacking. Yeah, yeah. I think we discussed this one. So that's fine. The sixth one was good. We made the bar point. And the 6-3 was productive and that we were able to make this point, although bringing two down was close. And then, the okay, so this is the one that we were talking about. Okay, wow. Look at what it liked. 13-5 was close, but we didn't even consider this play. No, we didn't. Look at that. If uh, XG doesn't roll a three right now, we probably have a double at this score, maybe. Even with two checkers trapped behind a five. Yeah, because, you know, sixes are good out here, but now fives and threes are good here. So let's let me put this on the other board here. Now, let's say we do this. And then white rolls like a 5-1 or 5-2 or something like this. Let's say like this. Now, is this a double? Mm, Look at I, that. I, it's a double. Wow. Mm. Even if it's like this, still a double. Big time. One six seven. if you don't. Yeah, so I think this is one of those things like you want to uh, make a checker play based on the possible subsequent cube action. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, we played like this, and then we were hit, and then we danced, and then this was a double. It was actually quite a small double because we still had all this. Yeah. So we took three, two. We couldn't move until here, uh, and then we had the 4-1. We had to come in. We had to come in with a one, and then the double two was just we had to play safe, and the six five, it looks like these were all close. Nine, three, seven, two. It liked nine, four, it, it liked the double slotting play. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. That that does seem crazy because we'll just get attacked 
on the 24 point. Right, right. And then after this, there was basically nothing we can do. So we'll move on to the next one. With the 6-4, see, when you're behind in the score, it likes making the two-point. When you make the two-point, it wins more gammons, and that's kind of what you like when you're the trailer. Uh, okay. And the 6-3 was right to just bring it down and uh, move up or bring one down. It was close. The double two was great because we rolled a point on head and make another point. Right, so double two was good. And then afterwards, we had a double. This was a strong double because of the score. It was almost a pass. Um, the the four three. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look how aggressive it wanted us to be. Thirteen nine eight five. Wow. Yeah, this wins more gammons at the score, and it wins more games. That's an interesting one. Okay, so let's see what else. Next, we had the four three made the point, then the double one. Okay, so it was come in, make the point. And eight to seven, okay. That was a good find. What do we have next? This was the one where we point on head. So that was good. Yeah. The four two was not good. We did have to make the safe play despite the score. Yeah, Although 13 9 was actually. Relatively close. Considering it's a double shot, I'm surprised. Yeah, I think, let's see. It loses more gammons, but it wins more gammons. And gammon losses don't matter, but gammon wins matter. That's why it was close, even though you lose, you win fewer games. Um, all right, then with the 6-5, we had to. That was clear. The double three was good, and that switch was right. Yeah. So that was nice. And the five three. Oh, look. This was a tough one. 20 to 15, 8 to 5. Like this. Or this one was reasonable. This one was too much, I guess. I guess we're winning a lot of gammons anyway. Yeah. That's, that, 2015. 20 to 15, like that. 166362. We open up a lot. But we can attack the one point better. That's true. That's that's. I guess that's part of the reason. And we have a four-point board against a three-point board with a blot in the board. So it's going to be hard for white to hit and safety. You can't hit in safety, right? Yeah. But, oh, I'd never have thought of suggesting that. That's, uh, that's yeah. not very intuitive, that play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2015, 11, 8 is a lot more intuitive because we close up six five right 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 i guess it wants you to point on head here make that point since you already made the deep points okay, okay. so let's see next one was double three which was not good we had to just kind of play safe and the three one we just had to break again then we were hit we couldn't come in couldn't come in and then the six five these two were tied or came out a little on top. But then what happened was we were hit and then we were in this position and this was a redouble and a pass. Yeah. Okay. We're, we were very unlucky that for like three rolls, we couldn't, yes, get of... past, we couldn't jump over his three prime. That's. Yep. 
Yeah. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sad faces to three happy faces, at least there. Yeah. Four happy faces. <laughs> okay. So then the next game, the 5 2, we come in and hit. And the 4 1 was a hit again. And the 6 3 was cover. And yeah, this is the one. Okay. So this is the one where you like to hit twice. I think yeah. the problem here is we have these three checkers back. Let's see what happens if, um, let's say we have an, ex an extra checker in the zone. I, I think it might get closer now. Now it's uh, 96 off, whereas here, oh no, uh, this is 101 off. Yeah, it's just that we had this one here. Like, let's say we had this. I guess you could still run. Yeah, it's tough. Oh, I was just pissed off, to be fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fair. 5-1. Uh, okay, so this is, this is where we had to be a little bit more aggressive. We wanted to hit and cover. I guess that does make a nice three-point board. Or even like this. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer we that. We did, yeah. Yeah. But then, then, then we then we kind of like chickened out somewhat and went for the passive play. Yeah. This this was the other one we were looking at, right? This was big. This was big. Should have hit. So what happens here is uh, we're going to lose more gammons by making this play. But gammon losses are irrelevant. But we win many more, almost about twice as many gammons by doing this. And the gammon is actually quite valuable at this score. Whereas let's say, let's say we were down 4-0 still. Yeah, but it's not such a big. Oh, it is still big. Oh, it's not so big now. 163, whereas 249. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then the double five was right. We had to bring three. We had to keep this back. Okay. Then there was the three one, which was right. And the two one, we just had to play safe. And then there was not a lot that was interesting here. Here, yeah, this is the one where they were close. The two, it did like stepping up a little bit. I guess because if uh, we will be able to kill our sixes soon. Okay. What else? The, these ones were close, the 4-1. What else? Is there anything interesting here? Nothing really interesting to look at. The 5-3. Yeah, we did have to run with the 5-3. And that was pretty much it. That was all she wrote. That's all she wrote. But I always say the most important thing is we had fun and we learned something. What's, what, what do you feel what we, like the biggest lesson was to learn here? Um, not to get pissed off, because then you start playing, <laughs> then you start playing um, the wrong moves just because you, I don't know, you just want, you just, depends on your character, but if I'm angry, then I'll be more aggressive, and in this case, too aggressive, like, you know, with that six I five. I feel like that's, that's. Yeah, that's it's certainly a natural thing to do. Is when your emotions uh, get, get in get in the way, you, you could play more aggressive. One of the things I found by playing XG is that I'm able to distance myself away from that because I'm not playing somebody else. I'm not playing for money, so it doesn't matter if I'm winning or losing. 
um, I'm not, there's, I'm not going to lose any money. So I never have to complain XG. So that in a sense helps me, uh, focus a little bit better. Um, I think that's helped me. I don't know. Uh, I see XG as, um, a opponent I want to beat. So even though it's not for money, I want to win. So uh, the emotion is hard for me to disconnect. But, yeah, yeah, I focus on learning. That's the thing. Winning is yeah. nice. Winning is nice, but I'd rather win when I'm playing for some money. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Oh, what I was saying is, um, yeah, I play. I play against XG more to learn than to win. So it's, it's yeah. kind of like a different mentality. Th that's right. Yeah, if you're playing to learn, then the result becomes irrelevant. You're just trying to play the best you can. I get that. I get that. But I, I, I'm just so competitive in nature that I, I just want to try and win every time, even if I'm playing against my kids or just anyone. I, I just want to try and win. <laughs> I know. I know. That's how it is. Um, <laughs> When I was when I was in high school, I was on the tennis team, and one of my weaknesses was my second serve. So during the season, we had one week off for spring break. So what I did was I took some balls to a court and I just hit second serves like a hundred of them every day for a week, and then and then it improved. Uh, but while I was practicing, I would miss some and I would hit some in. But it didn't really matter during that time because I was just practicing to improve. And then when I got back on the court the following week and I started playing, then then it paid off. So that's kind of how I look at it, you know, looking to practice. And then when you play, hopefully you'll play better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good analogy. Um, all right. Well, it's always a pleasure. Uh, to play with you, and I'm looking forward to the challenge of playing the doubles match. That'll be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, me and me and Colin have got our work cut out. <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. You know, I, I I feel like the best part for me is just like the conversation, the, the discussion, the consultation, because the, there's a lot there's a lot that you can learn from that. Yeah, yeah. Can we can we play with real dice? <laughs> Um, we can do, I don't know. You have that thing that we do, right? You do like on yours, right? Then you have to enter it on XG. Yeah. Yeah. It's very easy to do. Maybe we'll have to set that up because I, th I think it's easier for you to do it. Maybe we'll have to set it up on your end. If it's possible, because yeah, then we then... can do both. I, I don't care. Whatever, whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. Cause, uh, I do. Yeah. It'll just, it means that I, I won't be so worried about what comes out because I know it's legit. Well, the way the way that you can yeah 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 the way you can um, test things out. So like, I have a lot of background in statistics and probability and things like that. Is you can go back and look at all the roles that have been rolled. I don't know exactly how to do it on XG, but I know that it can be done. Um, see if you've gotten the appropriate percentage of every role. And the other thing is you can look at the jokers and anti-jokers and you can count how many jokers and anti-jokers each player gets and compare that to the average number that you would get in a very long session to kind of see that. Um, but anyway, we'll see what we can do. Okay, sounds good. We'll talk We'll talk on Messenger. And figure yeah, out. yeah. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing you then. Do you have any final comments before we conclude? No. Uh, thank you again for a very okay. pleasurable game. And um, I've learned something from that. So it's all good. All right. Very good. So we'll see you next time. Thank you to the viewers for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below what you'd like to see in future videos so I can work on that. Again, my book, Backgame and Backgame Strategies, is available. There's a link in the description to where you can get it. If you're interested in lessons with me, please contact me via email. If you're interested in lessons with John, you can contact him in Facebook. That's all in the description. I look forward to seeing everyone in future videos. And until then, keep rolling your dice.